Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek, and this is our second episode of the Nerds Pokecast. And I'm really excited today because, well, it's Pokemon Week, and there's going to be all kinds of awesome news, and we're going to try to make a prediction of this. Now, if you don't know what the Pokecast is, I actually made a video uh, about a couple weeks ago kind of explaining it. It is the Nerds official Pokecast, or if you want to say podcast, that's pretty much what it is. Um, where we focus on Pokemon. That, and that's it. That's all we focus on. We've Pokemon cards, Pokemon games, Pokemon slushies, Pokemon dildos. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure, sure it exists. I mean, you know. I, I, I'm trying to picture it right now. <laughs> that might be a little inappropriate for a uh, podcast about Pokemon. Hey, at least, at least, at least it probably painted a good image in your head. I, I, I would think. I mean, <laughs> let me get off that subject before I dig a hole deeper than it actually is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Um, you know, started back in the uh, early, well, not early, maybe the late 90s, uh, and when it came to America with the trading card game. Uh, Pokemon Red and Blue for your Game Boy Colors, uh, which uh, Red and Blue actually came out prior to the Game Boy Color. So, yeah, it came out like a few. I'm old. I'm old. I'm just really old. So I I'm just painting a picture of how old I like am and probably sound like. I, I can't help it. I can't help it. And I'm really excited. I'm a 33 year old man talking about child play things. I love my life. It's great. <laughs> no, for real, though. I love Pokemon. I've always loved Pokemon. Um, ever since it came out, I I, I just always loved it. Uh, there for a while um, in my life, I stopped playing it, kind of hopped out of that. And just last year, um, I hopped back onto the bandwagon, and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I changed the... Uh, focus of the channel to mainly Pokemon. Um, and, you know, a lot of people that comes and watches the uh, show or, uh, you know, there are other videos, unboxings, they seem to really enjoy it. There's a really awesome com uh, community of people um, that really care about Pokemon in general. When and that's making me really happy about the 25th anniversary. Because there's all kinds of cool rumors, or all kinds of awesome events. You know, you have the Post Malone concert, and I guess Katy Perry's in there somewhere. Um, you have Logan Paul and his auctions with the uh, Pokemon break, you know, spending $2 million. Uh, that's happening on the 27th, which the 27th is Pokemon Day. Uh, and he's going to be opening up $2 million worth of first edition booster boxes so he, i think he's got six of them so yeah he, he's he spent a lot of money on it and he's going to make probably twice that amount of money back which i don't want to focus completely on logan paul because we kind of talked about it last uh pokecast but let's go ahead and start talking about some things uh some rumors that are going around right now in the pokemon world for the 25th anniversary number one I mean, the Pokemon video game line. Right now, as of right now, uh, in April, the end of April, we have the new Pokemon Snap. We haven't had a sequel to that ever until this April. And I actually just started playing Pokemon Snap for the first time a couple weeks ago. I actually streamed it. I had a really good time with it. I, I don't know why I didn't play it when I was a kid. Mainly because I didn't have a Nintendo 64 laying around. I was a PlayStation guy, you know. Everybody else is playing uh, GoldenEye, and I'm sitting there playing Final Fantasy VII, just enjoying life. But, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> it, it's just crazy, crazy that after all these years, we're finally getting a sequel to Pokemon Snap. And uh, I'm really excited for that. That comes out the end of April. Now, we also have some other stuff coming around that has not yet been announced, but it has been teased. Uh, one being Pokemon Unite, which is going to be a mobile type game. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but you have that. You have Pokemon Sleep, um, 
which is another mobile app, and I think it's also coming on the Switch as well. Pretty much all these uh, mobile games are also going to show up on the Switch. Um, and the new Pokemon Snap is not a mobile game. It is dedicated just to the Nintendo Switch, which I'm pretty excited uh, just to be able to take pictures and stuff. It would be kind of, it'd be kind of cool if... Uh, you know, you could do like you did a long time ago and get your pictures printed out at uh, Best, not Best Buy, but uh, what was that, Blockbuster Video? Yeah, we don't have Blockbuster. Again, I'm showing my age. Most of you guys probably don't even know what a Blockbuster is. <laughs> it, it was awesome. It was pretty awesome. They just don't, we don't have video stores anymore. We just have Netflix. Um, but aside from those games, there's also rumors of Diamond and Pearl remakes, and we're getting all these cryptic images uh, sent out by uh, Game Freak, and it's they're kind of confirming Diamond and Pearl remakes, but it's not there yet. And there's also a rumor of Let's Go games. If you guys played the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, uh, you kind of know what to expect, but I'm thinking this is my... This is what I think. I'm thinking Diamond and Pearl are going to be remakes and they're going to be a full blood regular Pokemon game just like Sword and Shield. I think they're going to release Let's Go Johto, uh, which would be a remake of Gold and Silver. Um, I'd say it would probably be a remake of the Crystal version. I would think. That's what I think it's going to be. Um, I don't know what Pokemon would be on the cover for that. Uh, if I had to guess, though, I, I would say, you know, maybe Cyndaquil, um, Togepi, something like that. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know if they'll be like, let's go Togepi and let's go Cyndaquil. I, I, I'm trying to brainstorm a little bit just to see what, you know, cool combinations there would be. Um, but I'm pretty excited on, on the tw uh, Twitch and YouTube. We're actually streaming Let's Go Pikachu, um, and we're six badges in, uh, working our way to get up to the Elite Four and beat those and catch Mewtwo. Um, you know, a lot of people are pretty torn on that game in general, um, just because it's it's made it's a casual game. It's 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 a casual game made for kids and. You know, it's kind of runs on the Pokemon Go style of gameplay where you can use your, you can, well, I mean, this was the controller. You actually can uh, toss it at the Pokemon to catch them, uh, which I thought was cool. A lot of people didn't like it, though. They thought it was, you know, eh, it's for kids. Well, Pokemon is for kids. It's, that's what it's dedicated to. It's made for kids. Uh... And I just happen to be a giant 33-year-old kid. <laughs> yeah. I'm sad. No, I'm not sad. I'm the happiest man right now. Happy, happy, happy. Um, I, I really hope they do come out with a Let's Go Johto. Um, I've got Pokemon Heart Gold and Heart, Sil Heart Silver, which are two of my favorite Pokemon games ever made. Uh, they were great remakes. Uh, I, I think the ultimate game goes down to gold and silver uh heart golden heart silver gold. <laughs> oh my god i can't talk today it's terrible it's terrible um but yeah soul silver and heart gold um those are two of my favorite pokemon games now i never played anything past that i i, I touched um i did touch x and y when they came out uh i did play i never beat it I also played uh, Pokemon Sun, and I never beat that. And my full-time real uh, playback of the Pokemon game started with Let's Go Eevee on the Switch, which that was the first time I actually sat down and played a Pokemon game from start to finish um, and just enjoying the hell out of myself. Um, and that was a couple years back. And on the channel, uh, we also streamed Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I had a blast on that. A lot of people don't like that game either. And I, I'm going to touch on that while we're, while we're on it. Um, 
here's the thing I like about Soul Silver, not Soul Silver. Damn it, I'm stuck on Soul Silver. Uh, Sword and Shield. Um, you know, whenever I played Pokemon back in the day, um, you know, it was a slower, uh, more challenging game. Yeah, it was still simplified, but it's not like it is now. Um, back then, you had to train every Pokemon. Like so, on the new games, you just have to use. You can use one Pokemon, and when you have experience, all the Pokemon in your party get that experience. Um, there's all kinds of awesome quality of life things in the newer games, which I, you know, if I could go back, if, if we get a chance to go back to Johto and just have that stuff, that would be amazing to me. I know purists may not like that idea, but I, I really enjoy that idea. I think it would be amazing just to just go back and enjoy the whole game, you know, beat Johto and then head to Kanto and beat the Elite Four and face off against Red. Um, d damn, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. I I'm hoping that's what happens. I, I, can't, I don't see the Diamond and Pearl and the Let's Go games coming out the same year. Now, I could be wrong. We'll know this week, though. We, we should know this week coming up, especially on the 27th. If I, if I had to take a guess, that's what I would think. But I could be wrong. Um, as far as other things that we're trying to look, kind of looking forward to, we're, I'm hoping that they announce what the new 25th anniversary set's going to be. Um, right now, McDonald's currently, McDonald's and General Mills has the only 25th anniversary cards. Uh, with the big one, big card everybody wants is the Pikachu, which I have. Yeah, thank you, thank you, I thank you very much. Um, you now can kiss my uh, ass. Or not. Uh, <laughs> sorry. But, um, yeah, th those are the two things right now that the promotions are the McDonald's and the General Mills. Uh, I'm not sure what else they're going to have uh, for the 25th anniversary. I know they have a jumbo card collection, which I'm not big on jumbo cards. I never was. I know there's a market for it, but I've never really enjoyed that. Like, uh, to me, it's just wasted space. Like, you, you can't use it for anything except for maybe hanging up on your wall. Which, that's probably what the point was to begin with. Um, maybe. I don't know. I, that's what I think. Um, <laughs> I know they're supposed to make the jumbo cards are supposed to be the starters. Um, kind of how McDonald's has all the st starter Pokemon for their uh, actual set, um, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I I'm not going to lie. Each month they're supposed to come out with another set. That way you could keep on going to your LGS. I don't think you're going to see these at Walmart or anything like that. I think these are going to be things that's going to go to your local game shops. And here we go. I'm going to tell you this. Support your local game shop. Game shop, not games. Support your local game store. Unless they're being dickheads. And whenever I say they're being dickheads, I mean if they're taking their shiny fates that is I think MSRP is fifty or sixty dollars and they're selling it for hundred and fifty dollars. Don't do that. Do not do that. <laughs> I, I'm hoping the market kind of balances because I, I was looking for shiny fates. I, I got to open one box of shiny fates. Um, which I was lucky to get that. Um and I, I, you hop on Facebook Marketplace, you type in Shining Fates, or if you're on eBay, Mercari, Amazon, they're selling for $150, anywhere between $70 and $150 each. Uh, and I, I saw a funny one today, actually. Um, <laughs> they, they were selling the, the ECB, but it's already been open. All the packs have been open, and they're selling it for $70. I, I don't know where the market is for that. I'm sure some poor souls want to buy that, which that usually happens. Um, I was talking to a friend earlier over to Goblin Traders. Uh, not a sponsored video, by the way. But, you know, if, you, if they want to, that'd be great. Um, he was talking about that he went to Walmart for a launch date of Shining Fates. And he got there super early to check it out. And when he got there, there was a like, big-ass line. Uh, of people trying to get in to get these Pokemon cards and people were grabbing them by the, you know, 
just, just grabbing everything, just filling our buggies up because they didn't have like, uh, I don't think they had a limit on the items. I actually went to Walmart just a couple hours ago and I wanted to check out the Pokemon sections. It was completely cleaned out. There's nothing, nothing. There, there's a few Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And Magic the Gathering's not even getting touched. <laughs> and But I don't want to talk about scalpers too much in this video because I want to try to focus it within the 25th anniversary. But it's kind of hard to avoid because the scalpers are ruining, ruining the whole experience of the 25th anniversary. Um, and I'm not going to blame Logan Paul for it. I'm sure he has something to do with it because he is a big name and... He did go in and he's, you know, oh, getting a lot of attention to Pokemon. So, you know, you're having all these big YouTubers, like, jumping in on Pokemon. And I, myself, I'm not a big YouTuber. I also joined in. I used to make content solely, like, you know, random games, life logs. And I shifted my focus mainly to Pokemon as well as, you know, doing streams with other games like we play resident evil 7 we're waiting for resident evil 8 to come out that way you can stream that uh but mainly it's pokemon um you know any any chance i get to play pokemon i'm happy um you know was playing the tcg online uh sword and shield let's go pikachu or after we finish let's go pikachu we're gonna run through pokemon tournament dx um, then we're going to wait for Pokemon Snap to come out and we'll do that and whatever else is coming this year. I, I think, if, if I had to guess, we're still on the topic of uh, Diamond and Pearl. I have a feeling that Diamond and Pearl will be the Let's Go games. I think it might piss a lot of people off. Because a lot of people, you know, they're expecting full-blown remakes of diamond and pearl in which it will be a full-blown remake of diamond and pearl but possibly it would be a let's go game and i don't know if that's the truth or are they going to go ahead and release diamond and pearl and some let's go games i kind of hope the second option is correct because you know it gives me more to play and plus i want to see uh Soul Silver be remade. That would be amazing to me. Another, uh, since we're still on the topic of games, there was a rumor that um, there was going to be a Pokemon anniversary compilation game that was going to have some of the titles uh, all on one card, kind of similar to what they did with Mario uh, an uh, anniversary. And I'm thinking they're going to do the same thing with Zelda. If I had to guess, because it's uh, the 35th anniversary of Zelda, um, so Nintendo's got a big year right now uh, with you know all these games, you know, getting their anniversaries 20, 25, 30, 35 years. I mean, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. It makes me feel really, really old, like really old. <laughs> but as far as other games, like I'm not really sure what else there would be. Um, maybe they'll kind of surprise us. Maybe it's going to be another mobile game. Maybe a newer version of Pokemon Go or just upgrade Pokemon Go. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of events this week for the 25th anniversary. I know they just had a Kanto event just over the weekend. And uh, yesterday, around 6 o'clock, they had uh, a Pikachu spotlight. That's, you know, I think it was actually today. It might have been, I, I don't, I'm not sure. I hopped on and it was dozens and dozens of Pikachus all over the place. Um, but yeah, like, I, th I think, I think there might be some more surprises that we haven't heard. Or then again, they may just play it safe and uh, just release the Diamond and Pearl remakes. I, I'm, I'm hoping for both. That's what I'm hoping I'm hoping Pokemon Snap's great. I'm sure it will be. Usually Nintendo, Nintendo has a great track record, and Game Freak seems to have a pretty good track record. I mean, I know that Sword and Shield and Let's Go games are divisive, and you know some people love them, some people hate them, and I don't think there's an in-between. Now, I'm, I'm on the end of I love them. I love the games. It, it makes me happy. Um, but 
I, you know, I don't see, you know, everybody agreeing on that. Um, now, we also have some other stuff that may be announced. What, what I'm thinking, and again, this is all me thinking this is going to happen with the, the actual evidence that it's going to happen. Um, you know, I'm thinking they're going to announce a Pokemon movie. Uh, not the animated. I think they're going to announce a full-blown Pokemon movie, kind of similar to what they did with Detective Pikachu, or they'll straight out do a Detective Pikachu sequel, which was awesome because that you know, despite this, despite it being a video game movie, it's probably one of the best video game movies you can watch. And you know, maybe Mortal Kombat might uh, the new one might surprise us. I think it looks sweet, but I, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to trying to you know. You know, you know what I mean. I can't get the words out. I, I, I go, I'll go ahead and just admit that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I think they'll announce a movie. I think I know they have Coco, um, Pokemon Coco, which features Zerude um, that hit in Japan, and I think it's it may come stateside. Um, we'll probably see more collaborations with uh, different companies. Um, maybe introduce a new Smash character within uh, maybe a, a Pokemon Sma Smash Bros. character. I doubt it. I, I don't think that that's going to be a thing. It might be because you know there there are already Pokemon in the game, but I'm not sure if there'll be more. It's possible. It's definitely possible. But as far as everything else goes, the concert with Post Malone, which is weird, but I love Post Malone, so I'll watch it anyways, even if I think it's weird. <laughs> I, I try, guys. I try. I try. I, I really do. I don't know anything about the Katy Perry thing. Um, we, you know, we got the Logan Paul thing. And I think that's going to hurt the market even more than it actually is. And we talked about that on the last episode, so we're not going to dive too much further into that. Um, anything else I can think of on the top of my head? Maybe we could do some guessing, um, <laughs> just to th just to see what happens. I'm I'm sure we can come up with some crazy rumors. Um, number one, maybe a Hey You Pikachu sequel for your mobile device. You could talk to your Pikachu, carry him wherever you go. And feed him kind of like a Tamagotchi, but it will be a Hey You Pikachu. And it will actually work this time. Uh, on the Nintendo 64, apparently, Hey You Pikachu didn't work half the time. But, you know, it could happen. That could be a thing. Uh, maybe some new Amiibos. Uh, new Pokemon Amiibos. The 25th Anniversary card set, as well as other card sets coming out this year. Maybe we'll get a rundown on things to look forward to. I know right now... Uh, Battle Styles is on its way. We had Shining Fates, which I did. Like I said, I got to open uh, open up the Shining Fates. Uh, I did open up the Japanese version of Battle Styles, which is a Single Strike and Rapid Strike. That got some really good pulls. Got some excellent pulls, actually. Um, and they haven't really announced anything else. Now, there there is a, a set that is coming out. I don't know if it'll come to America. I would assume it will. Uh, in Japan right now, it's actually really hard to pre-order this. I, I looked around, and it's like the cheapest I found it was a hundred some dollars, and it should be around fifty or sixty. You know, the Japanese sets are, you know, booster boxes are cheaper than American uh, stuff. Uh, ours is about 110, 120 dollars, and the Japanese is anywhere from 50 to 60 dollars, uh, give or take. But you know, I, I I think there'll be a bunch of new sets announced. Uh, maybe give us a light light on um, the actual trading card game as of right now. Uh, new promos, um, new sets like. Um, you know, they had the Zastian Zamazenta set that came out. These are all special sets. Um, I've been watching and listening to uh, PTCG Radio a lot recently. And um, he kind of he kind of nailed it a little bit what he thinks is going to happen. Uh, he mentioned a VMAX set, which Japan had a VMAX set. 
Uh, we actually opened that up a while back. You had some uh, VMAXs that was only going to be available for that specific uh, item. But they did bring them back in Shining Fates in America. I, I knew that was going to happen. Um, the only thing I could think of right now that you wouldn't see in America, unless they decide to, is uh, bring out the high class um, tag team uh, set, which right now it, it's it skyrocketed in price. It went from sixty dollars all the way up to hundred and fifty dollars. Like all these sets are becoming ridiculous. Like I, I don't like it. I hate it. It sucks. I fucking hate it. I said I hate it like a million times here. Sorry. <laughs> um, so just keep an eye out, guys. Uh, maybe maybe this happens. Maybe on the twenty seventh or prior, we may get some game announcements. I hope so. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Um, again, I thank you guys very much for stopping by. I know I kind of went off uh, kilter for a little bit, and uh, I, I, I'm still trying to work on the stuttering thing. I get really nervous sometimes while doing this, um, but I really enjoy it. I'm hoping the next podcast will actually have another person in. Maybe it'll be a little bit longer. Uh, maybe we can shift our focus a little bit to one specific game, uh, which I would like to go to specifically Sword and Shield right now. We taught, like, I, I, I hope we could do that. Um, maybe talk a little bit about the nostalgia and how that's coming back. Which that reminds me, too. There's a rumor that there's going to be an Evolutions uh, 2 set. If you don't know what Evolutions is, it came out about four years ago. It's a, uh, a set that is reprints of base set cards. Uh, you know, the Charizard and everything. I'm thinking they're going to do another one. Uh, maybe not. Um, it, it may have like the, the cards that wasn't in the last evolution set. Maybe we'll get the uh, Blastoise and Venusaur. Um, I, I, actually, I think those were in there in the first. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I've only opened up a small amount of evolutions. I've already got the chase cards that I want that's in Evolutions. Aside from one, there's one I do want to get. And I'm hoping I can get a hold of it here soon. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure how it's going to work out. I don't know if they're going to do, like... It would be kind of cool if they did, like, a Neo Genesis style thing. Um, do, you know, an Evolution set based on Johto line Pokemon. I doubt it, but, you know, one can dream. But other than that, guys, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. This is the second episode of the Nerdcast. Uh, Nerdcast Pokecast. The Nerds Pokecast. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. It's, it's, it's too bad that uh, I did this all in one take. <laughs> You're probably like, man, I wish I did not watch this guy. He's just all over the place. I try to stay on one topic at a time. Try to. Uh, but if you haven't already, feel free to hit that follow button and hit that subscribe button. I would definitely appreciate it. Um, if you're coming in from the nerds, i just like to say, this is the way. This is the way. And, yeah, we'll talk about more Pokemon stuff here in the future. Again, I, prom uh, I hope I see you soon. Bye-bye.